Cigaria. It is just before five o'clock in the morning. And the reason that we're up so early is that one of the most iconic things to do in this area is to climb Pitarangala Rock at sunrise. So one of our host sons is going to be taking us up there for the morning. Let's go. The tickets were 2,000 rupees total, so that's about eight Canadian dollars. After a 4.30 a.m. wake-up call, we met our host at 5 a.m. and he took us on the short 20-minute tuk-tuk ride to the base of Pitarangala Rock. We bought our tickets at the monastery and started our hike up in the dark. Fortunately, there were handmade lights made from recycled bottles strung up along the way to guide us up the steep and uneven rocks that form a staircase. As you approach the top, the hike becomes more challenging and turns more from hiking to bouldering for a short stint. But don't let this put you off, as on the bouldering scale, it is relatively easy and safe and there will always be people around to help. The climb up to the top of Pitarangala Rock to watch the sunrise is 100% worth the effort and early start. The views from the top are absolutely spectacular and breathtaking. It's like a scene from The Lion King. I imagine it's what Mufasa, Sarabi, and Simba experienced when they looked out over their kingdom. With the 200 plus meters of elevation, you are presented with a 360 degree view of the vast surrounding area which takes in all manner of lush green vegetation, including on the numerous mountains and hills that rise from the horizon. There is a clear view of Lake Talcote and the arguably more famous Sigiriya Rock Fortress, also known locally as Lion's Rock. The most impressive scenes come as darkness fades to light and the sky cycles through the spectrum to bake the landscape in an array of stunning colors. It is a majestic experience that we can only compare to when we rode through the Sahara at sunset, which made us feel insignificant in comparison to the greatness of nature. Down off our sunrise hike 
and we are now at a viewpoint near a lake to then get an amazing view of both of the rocks that make this place famous. And this is Nadisha. He is one of the owners or like the son's owner yeah. of where we're staying. And he has come with us to do the hike and he's driving us around in the tuk-tuk. And what's the lake called? Pahalagama Lake uh, is a similar lake. I would never be able to say that myself, so thank goodness we have you. <laughs> and thank you for the wonderful tour. After the amazing sunrise hike, we then came back to be treated to an incredible breakfast, which included omelettes, amazing jam sandwiches, fresh fruit, which included teeny tiny bananas, papaya, watermelon, and then roti with our new favorite dish of all, coconut sambal, which is fantastic, by the way. Coconut sambal is life. And it kind of, in my opinion, tastes like a vegan version of spicy crab that would top sushi. Mm -hmm. So pro tip for any vegans out there, I feel like that could be a really good substitute. Mm -hmm. And then also I hope that we get to have more of the papaya. I think the papaya we had was so sweet and juicy, it's turned us both into fans. Yeah, it definitely illustrates just how good a fruit can be if you take it right. Those were definitely the highlights for us. Absolutely. All of that washed down with a pot of black tea. Doesn't get much better than that. No, and then we came back to the room and we just chilled watching some YouTube, but we got kind of sleepy, so we passed out for like three hours. Yep, and then we got up. I needed a shower, so I've had that. And then we started just feeling a bit hungry. So we're taking you to a restaurant that we went to last night. It was so good that not only do we want to enjoy it again, but we also want to share it with you. to Coconut Shades restaurant and the waiter who we got talking to last night has kindly set us up in our own little private hut. In all fairness we are here at a bit of a strange time. It is just past 3 p.m but we weren't really hungry until now so it's a very late lunch. But we're coming back because the same dish that we had last night is still available today. So we're super excited to show you that and share it with you. We are getting an infamous dish from around Sri Lanka that a lot of places offer. It is rice and it comes with six curries. We've gone for the vegetable curry option and I can't wait because it was delicious last night. Last night we actually got a different set of curries than what we got this time around. For this one we have beetroot, mango, cucumber, pumpkin, radish, and a lentil bean kind of curry as well. All served with white rice and papadums. And from that it then looks something like this. was absolutely scrumptious just like yesterday mm -hmm. and it was kind of nice to try some new curries which ones were your favorite uh, I think for me like they were all good in their own way but I think the pumpkin stood out for me in particular yeah for me I liked the pumpkin and the cucumber the best and then I liked putting that lentil one on the papadum I thought that was really good too mm -hmm. and literally with each of the curries that we tried both 
last night and today, then everything's just been so incredibly well thought out and the flavor is superb. Absolutely, highly recommend coming here to Coconut Shades Restaurant. Mm -hmm. Shout out to them, they're phenomenal. Yep. But yeah, I think for the rest of it, we're gonna do just a spot of work. We're not going to come back out and the reason for that is because where we are staying is on a road that apparently is pretty well trodden by wild elephants and it's extremely dangerous for that reason to go out at night without a tow tow ride so with that then i think we're just going to try and grab some groceries on the way home and just have a nice night in so while that's going to be lovely for us it's not going to be that exciting for you so until the next time take care and keep smiling